Hello everybody, welcome to my beloved channel. If you are new here, karibu sana. If uh, you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for the support, thank you for the comments, thank you for sharing, and uh, thank you pretty much for supporting this channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, today, I just want us to um, have a quick discussion in regards to availing ourselves unto the Lord. You know, I was just thinking about the story of uh, Abraham, how, um, actually not, not the story of Abraham, but the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, how God sent his angels to check out what was going on in there. Uh, what was going on in those cities and he found they were really really wicked and he decided to destroy them but before he got there he passed by Abraham's uh, bosom and uh, he asked Abraham uh, after of course uh, Abraham prepared a meal for him and he uh, told Abraham you would by the time a time like this next year you will have a son and the Lord said how can I hide what I'm about to do uh, from Abraham and um, he he decided not to hide what he was going to do and of course he told Abraham hey I'm I'm, I'm going to this city I'm gonna go check out I've heard that um, I just want to go make sure that what I have heard is true because if it is true then you know I'm going to destroy them all and of course um, uh, Abraham tried to negotiate with the Lord telling him Sasa Mungu, if you find um, 45 people who are uh, faithful will you still destroy the whole city and God said no and he went down the list uh, numbering um, asking God if you find uh, 30 people will you still destroy the city and God said no he went all the way to 10 people and God said, no, if I find 10 faithful people, I'm not going to destroy the city. And this got me thinking. Sodom and Gomorrah, those must have been big cities, not just a small city. You understand? Like it's not like a, a small rural uh, city somewhere. This, this must have been big, big, big cities, right? And... God was only looking for 10 people, only 10 people, faithful people who would stand in the gap for him, faithful people for him not to destroy the cities. And I was so saddened the fact that he, he couldn't find 10 people. He couldn't find 10 people, righteous people in two cities, Sodom and Gomorrah and he ended up destroying the cities. It really challenged me and I told God, God, help me to be that person that you're looking for. Help me to be that specific person that you're looking for so that you don't destroy Atlanta, so that you don't destroy, um, you know, America or Kenya or, you know, the whole continent of Africa. Because God is a merciful father. He is a merciful father. He doesn't show his wrath all the times and it's up to us it's up to us to do what he called us to do it's up to us to be faithful to him to be righteous to walk faithfully with him so that we can stand in the gap of cities we can stand in the gap of nations we can stand in the gap of generations let me ask you this what are you doing to uh, make a difference in your um, in your generation what are you doing to make a difference in your family um, what are you doing to make a difference in your friends lives are you just there living life are you just there doing what you know best to do but you're not making any positive impact in any way ask yourself those questions and if you find that your answers to those questions are no please do something ask the lord god help me to be the person that you have called so that i can make an impact in my generation help me to be the person that you have ordained 
to change generations to come, to make a, 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 an impact in my nation, to make an impact in my country, to make an impact in the kingdom of God, so that when one day you'll be reunited with Jesus, he will say, well done, my faithful, my good and faithful servant. But um, you have to make a decision um, to leave an impact, positive impact into the kingdom of God because that's what God created you for. He created you specifically for him and for you to do what he has called you to do. All right, be blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.